Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, what is going on, everybody? It is, in fact, your boy, Wally 1K. And that's a satchel I just heard over here. We're going to instantly run over here. Oh, that's a bear. Not doing that. No way. No way. Ah! Ah! You, f you, you. <laughs> All right. Well, before I got rudely interrupted by a bear entity, what is going on? We're playing solo. We're playing Rust. That's about it. Let's get in this video. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support in the last solo video. I mean, you guys absolutely killed it. I think it's almost at 15,000 likes, thousands of comments. Oh my, like, I, it's the best video performance-wise I've had in a long time, and it makes me just feel so good about myself. You know what I mean? It uh, it definitely boosts my ego a little bit when I don't need that anymore. But no, I'm just kidding. It doesn't actually boost my ego. But like, it's super cool to see. Super cool to see a little bit of 200,000 views. You know, pretty swag. Pretty swag. You know. So thank you. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Seriously. Um, today we're gonna win. We're gonna dominate. We're gonna get a box of AKs. I don't. I can't speak right now. And um, we're gonna kiss some dudes goodnight. That's what's gonna happen. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we are hashtag Wally 500K by the end of this year. We're gonna do it. You know, it's we're 90 or 80,000, 80 something thousand away. But I believe it. I believe in us. We're gonna have the biggest two months of my entire career ever. That's it. That's what's gonna go down, okay? Not to mention, this is like my fifth try at playing solo for this week. So let's hope this one goes well because I'm getting very washed out and I want to cry every single minute of the day. So, uh, yeah. Let's go for the like goal of 15,000 likes this video. I know that's a lot. That's a lot of likes. We don't, we, we haven't hit that in a very long time. But. I believe in us, and you should believe in yourself about clicking that button. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get, let's just get in this video. I love you guys. Thank you, Rust Clash, for sponsoring today's video. Rust Clash is an online gambling website with game modes such as Case Battles, Upgrader, Jackpot, Plinko, Roulette, Mines, and their original cases. Rust Clash has many ways to deposit, such as Rust Skins, Cash, or Cryptocurrency. If you use Cash or Cryptocurrencies, you get $1.66 per dollar. They also have a rain feature that you can tip every hour for a chance to win big. Lastly, their marketplace is full of withdrawals, and you can get any of your favorite skins. When using the site, use code WALLY1K for three free cases. Thank you, Rust Clash, for sponsoring today's video. Look at that drip, though. Look at... Damn, that's fat. Giot. I wonder if like my neighbors can hear me through the wall sometimes and they're like, this kid is absolutely, like, it's just a moron. Like, who is this kid through the wall? They're like, he really just said Giot towards his Rust character. Truthfully, after living at this apartment complex since January, I've literally only seen my neighbors like maybe a handful of times, which is crazy to think because like we literally live through each other's walls. But that kind of sounds weird. I'm not going to lie. Either way. Ooh, that that's drip. Yo, I'm going to like a wedding with this. Look at that. Like, yo, what up? What up? What up, guy? What up? Okay, I'm done. Um, but yeah, I literally only seen like a handful of times. Probably said hi like three times. And that's about it. That's all I know about them. Oh, more drip. More drip. So like more drip, dude. I'm just getting hooked up here. So like they obviously know nothing about me. So they're like, wh like who is this kid screaming at the top of his lungs at three o'clock in the morning? It's not. Oh. It's not actually three o'clock in the morning right now, but most of the time it is. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Actually, I want to try this new Halloween bow skin, Zombo. Zombo. Yo, it's actually kind of fire. Actually, dope. W skin. All right, for now, we're going to try to get as many components as we can. Oh, my poggers. That is awesome. But we're going to try to get as many components as we can and then head to outpost. Hey, buddy. No way, dude. Oh my god, I hate people with a passion. Look at him, stand still, loot. Ooh! 
I think I go water treatment first, honestly. No point of going directly back when I literally have nothing. And that's a compound bow. Alright, we got like... We actually do have a decent amount of stuff. And it kind of makes me think, should I just go to outpost first? Because I might be able to just buy a couple things that will help me in the long run, I feel like. We got some gamers in here. We got the drip police. <laughs> Is this Bree? There's like clans on here, bro. What? 300 scrap. Do I have BPs on here though? No, zero BPs. Semi. Rifle, 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 rifle. No pistol. Thompson. For crude? Really? Crude. That's crazy. Uh, I don't even know. I'm just gonna click things. Oh, a python. I can buy a python for 30 HQM. That's gonna be my play here. There we go. We got ammo. Alright, we got pistol bullet, which is nice. And then we're gonna buy some smokes. That's not smokes. 50 worth of smokes. And then... I don't know what else to buy, the 150 scrap. Might, might just buy base stuff, I guess? I don't really know. Is there a rig anywhere? Yeah, decently close. Yeah. All right, we got ammo. I just heard a Tommy going off. I might as well just go straight for the Tommy. Cause why not, right? Can actually take this box. Nothing else useful, but. Just like a cute little community over here. Box down, put the rug down, put the bag down. All right, fully stoned. That's awesome. We're just gonna literally run the python and go back over where those kids killed me. I just heard 2C4 go off by water treatment. With my luck, they raided a two by one. They used 2C4, blew into it, and they're already patching, so. Oh, they go through the roof? Oh, this was it. They gotta be coming back, right? Oh, shoot. Yo. <laughs> we won. <laughs> AK, phenomenal. This is phenomenal. I knew waiting was a good idea. I literally knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. No way. Dude. This poor guy. Why is he wearing NVGs again? Like, I'm so serious. Why NVGs again, dude? It's daytime. <laughs> Um, I did want to grab that tier three, but I don't think there's any wood in here. Oh, wait, there, there should be wood. Oh, I have wood. Oh, wait, that's our way up, though. We'll grab that next run. For now, I think we get out of here. I'm not too sure why he didn't just come out with AK the first time. Like, why did he come with a Thompson with, an, with a burst module? You know what I mean? Like, you had, you had AK. You could have just came AK. Full kit AK. I don't, I don't really know. It was a good play by me, though, finding that, uh, raid and doing that that was a good play on my part i mean we're ak already we're legit an hour four minutes into the recording so an hour and four minutes in i'll take that my friends are like calling me they're all like out it's a friday night at 12 they're just calling me like yo come on let's go let's go so i might depot this and then uh go hang out with them i'm gonna drive there though 
because I'm not going to drink or anything like that. But I'm going to go probably just say what's up to them just because. And then uh, I'm going to come back and play it all night. But I'm going to depot first. Lesson of the night. Don't offline raid because Wally 1K might be sitting inside the base. That's the quote of the day. Lesson of the night. Uh, we should get tier three down. And then I, what do I want to do? A box and another door. Crafted two doors. Whatever. Just so we have an extra door, I'm going to get that down. I don't think I'll be raided. No one even knows I exist here. But you never know. So we're going to leave it like that. Okay, I'm going to go say hi low. Hi low. Yep. I'm going to go say what's up to my friends. And then I'll be back. I'm not going to be there too long. It's already 12 o'clock. So that bar probably closes at 2 a.m. So I'll be back. But also my eye really hurts. My right eye has like, it's like really hurting. I don't know what's happening, but okay. I love you guys. Be right back. All right, gamers. Um, so I just wasted a complete hour of my life. Uh, we actually had really good talks and really good content. As you see, I was recycling here and I crashed. Basically, Rust has had an issue with blue screening. People just randomly blue screen playing Rust and they haven't fixed it because they're absolutely terrible at fixing things. So we just lost some really good content. Um, basically the last hour of my life. It is now four o'clock in the morning. I told you I was gonna hop back on, I did. Ended up killing a trio outside my base with rockets. I raided a base, it was loaded, and now we're here. So that was the last hour of my life. Um, I also upgraded my base. The file's corrupted because my whole computer crashed. I, I'm, I'm pretty pissed off, I'm not gonna lie, because it was really good content, and the fact that Rust randomly comes out with monthly updates every single month, and uh, somehow everyone's screens are blue screening while playing a game, is uh, something that you gotta look into, right? But they haven't fixed it, and it's been like about a month, so I'm kinda mad at them. I, I, I don't get it, I don't really get it, I don't. So yeah. That's, uh, that's what happened. Ripped some really good content. Like, I even had a really good talk during it. So, that's, like, that's great. Thanks, Rust. Thanks for everything. Alright, I think that's good enough on stuff. But, yeah, that was really good content. And it just sucks because, like, I got, I hopped on at 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, to get more content because I, like, really need to get a video for this week. And I've tried, like, five different times so far solo, and finally I get a good run here and it just crashes. It's just like, oh, it's so frustrating, man. Like, that's an, that was an hour of really good footage. But I'll give you guys the rundown of what went down. I already kind of told you, but I'll show you the base I raided. Like, that, like this blue screen issue has been happening for like a month now. They're adding a new DLC, though, to, for a, a role-playing DLC where you could put things on the wall. Like, that's great. Like, really? Oh, man, I got such... I have some takes on the game that I'm not going to talk about, but like, it's just like, come on. I'm getting tired of it. I really am. Um, so yeah, this is the upgraded base. Uh, the tier three. That So we got one extra rocket left. We got like all this stuff. A lot of wood. A lot of guns. We're, we're doing pretty good. So I'll show, you, I'll show you the base we raided. But yeah, a trio. I had the two by one. The trio came. I killed all three of them. Arctic suits. And they had five, ro five rockets and like six X blow. So then I upgraded my base thinking I was going to get raided. And I was like, screw it. I'm going to raid real quick. So I blew up this base from the top. I top down this base right here. And I mean, I, I left some extra guns and stuff in here. But yeah, I don't know. This, that's what happened. And it was pretty loaded. Such good content. It really was. Oh, this guy is online, dude. He's up. He's... Uh, you wouldn't know because we lost the content, but... But, uh, yeah, we were messing with that guy. But at least we got this sheet metaled up. We're gonna build a nice little uh, snow snow mountain fortress. That's the plan. And it just stinks because like 
now like I do want to get off. It's 4 17 in the morning, you know? It's like I'm I'm beat now. Like I'm really beat. So I think I'm honestly gonna head off for the night. Even though uh we got like five seconds of content. Let's I think we already got pistol bullet learned. So I wanna learn five five and med real fast. And then we're gonna see if we can get garage door. I no, we we can't. We totally can't. I know we can't. Got that. All right, we got all the doors down that we need. I think I'm gonna just do one roam, just cause like, we did lose the content. So I might do a quick roam. All right, let's go MP5 grubbing. Basically though, when I was doing uh, a little, a little talking moment, I was basically kind of just saying how, well, first and foremost, I was saying that, uh. If it wasn't for you guys, I would I would literally be nowhere in uh in life. So I was I was basically just thanking you guys because you know if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for this channel, if it wasn't for the content and all that that I do for a living, I I never did school. Like when it comes to academics, I was never a school person. I couldn't I could not sit in a chair and listen to a teacher or do homework or study. I was, I couldn't do it. I, I wouldn't do it. I didn't do it. I was, I was one of those people who just like was not, we like, I, my parents just always knew that that wasn't the path for me. So seriously, seriously, like, thank you guys so much for being here every week. Thank you for dropping a like, dropping a comment, subscribing, all of that. Like it, it seriously means the absolute world to me. And if, and if you're in a position right now, I don't know how old you are. Maybe you're in high school, college. I don't, I don't know. If you ever feel stuck, if you ever just feel like there's nothing out there for you, or you don't know what you want to do with your life, or you just genuinely feel stuck. Like you just feel like everything you do, you just stay in the same exact spot. If you do feel that way, you need to start getting out of your comfort zone and you need to start doing things that you don't actually enjoy. So like what I mean by that is for instance, for me personally, I hate the way that my body looks like I'm a very skinny, scrawny kid. I am if you guys ever seen a picture of me, I'm pretty skinny. I'm like a buck 35 and I'm 5'10". That's yeah, that's what I am. And like, like I can't even go to like a beach with my friends and like take off my shirt and like feel okay. Even around my friends. Like I, I, I hate, I do not like the way I look. So what I do is I try to better myself. I, I, I try to eat more. I try to gain weight. I try to go to the gym as much as I can so that I can look better. Because if there's something you don't like about yourself, you have to work towards bettering yourself. You know what I mean? Like if you don't like the way you look, if you don't like the fact that you got bad grades in school, then you got to study harder. You know, if you don't like the way you look, you got to work out. You got to eat more. You got to do something that'll help what your issue is. And if you don't have anything like that and you just genuinely really do feel stuck, seeking discomfort is the best thing you can do because seeking discomfort teaches you so much about yourself. Like for another example, I have really bad social anxiety. Like if I go, if I go out alone, like I, I sweat profusely. I just, I think that everyone's watching me. I, I can't, I, I hate going out alone. Right? So what I've been doing recently to try to fix that problem is I've been trying to just like go to restaurants and like table for one and eat alone, like in a public Jesus, man. But like in a public area, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to, I try to fix that. I try to push myself to things that I didn't think I could possibly do because you learn so much about yourself. You learn whether or not when you're, do when you're doing things that you're like discomfort or you just don't really know what you're doing. So like, for instance, like, let's just say, uh, you don't know how to surf and you want to surf. So you go out there and you try to learn how to surf, right? You don't know what you're doing but you learn so much about yourself while doing something you don't know. Cause putting yourself in a position like that, you're learning whether or not you can handle it. And not only are you learning what you can handle, you're also learning if you like something, if you want to do something more, if you want to pursue it and if it makes you happy, because if you're doing things that you don't know, just new things and something makes you happy, then you just found something that most people don't have. And it's happiness within either themselves or an activity that they're doing. 
you just really got to push your brain to such an extent and then once you learn that life does not stop moving and there's always something going on and life moves fast man it moves so fast so try to find the things that you enjoy doing and that make you happy as soon as possible because you will get out of your stuck situation just like that man you really really just got to push yourself as a human if i didn't push myself i wouldn't be here today it's that simple and if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be here today either and i just want to say thank you because you really really do make my entire life now let me go kill this arctic suit real fast a little bit off topic but i want to go kill him oh sh I'm saving the recording right now. I gotta get out of here. 12 C4? What the heck just happened? With great power comes great responsibility. And I'm responsible for getting the out of here. Let me know if you guys want more talks, by the way. Let me know in the comments. That talk, it was really good the first time. It was way better than the second time, to be honest with you guys. If I can get that footage back, oh my god. I just, it's, I'm just tired right now, so my brain is kind of moving a little bit slower. It's 4.30 in the morning, you know what I mean? Dog, that is insane. What is happening tonight? If only I had the freaking content of me killing the guys for the rockets, man. Like, this, this night is insane, dude. This server goes crazy at freaking 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, 12C4. Dude, 12C4? What? I can't even tell you last time I had 12C4 ever. I'm just the offline raid saver, bro. I just be saving people from this stuff. Like, for real. Oh, my back hurts, man. My back hurts. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna wait till the morning. And then we're gonna go raid. That's the plan. All right, gamers. It's now daytime, which is poggers. And we're gonna go... I was looking at this base earlier. Wait, where is it? Over here, over here, over here. It's a uh, sheet metal stone. Someone laddered to go look. And it's just like armored here. And I really kind of want to raid it. So I think we're going to raid this. I'm not even going to lie. Just till we get this all sorted. This base is pretty loaded. I need to get a ladder. I gotta. I actually gotta go to that other base and get a ladder. I'm not even trolling. Oh, I'm gonna be playing this till the freaking sun comes up. I'm not even trolling, bro. I'm not even trolling. Dude, guys, this is insane. I've literally been on the server for like, for only like a few hours. I like, I, I don't even, like, this is crazy. Like, I'm already like, complete end game loot. Like, like, oh my God, man. All right, we got like all the materials home, which we cannot fit in our boxes, that's for sure. But, so I thought that counts. I don't even think I've, like, touched a node yet, dude. I swear to God, I think I hit, like, three nodes. Real fast, we're gonna put down all these garage doors. Alright, our entire base has garage doors now. That's insane. Alright. Well, I think it's time to start jackhammering i'm gonna drop my volume for this because this is going to take forever so yeah i'll be back all right we made it through 
Oh my god, it was worth it, man. It was. It actually was worth it. It actually was. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Wait, what? Hold up. How did these guys ever get up? Wait, no way. Is this a bunker? Dude, what? Wait, does that mean there's pixel gaps? There is pixels. What is that? What is that down there? Wait. Yo. Wait, dude, there, there's something down there. Like, look. There's stuff down there. Wait. Enter code. That... No. That just... No. That's gonna take way too long. Dude, like, what do you do about that? How do I... Like, what? I'm gonna be up till 8... I'm gonna be up to 8 o'clock in the morning if I do this. Because I don't have the boom. I have 2C4. Some x -blow. Like, bro. <laughs> bro, bro. Like, I guess, I guess, we, uh, I guess we could do it, bro. If this doesn't show you guys how much I love y'all, like, I don't know what does. This is insane what I'm about to do, dude. What am I doing? Am I really going to do this till like eight o'clock in the morning? But I'm assuming all their best loot's down there. So like, it's worth it in the end for me. Oh my God. Is it worth it in the end for me? I don't really know. Where'd I put that tier one? Dude, this guy's got to get off the roof. He's actually annoying me. It's actually getting raided right now. I'm no troll. All right, buddy. You're lucky we don't got no more boom. I'm not letting them, uh, I'm checking. Damn, they legitimately dipped out. Oh my god. This is insane. Oh my god. Guys, it was worth it. This, I, I, guys, I don't, I don't even know what to say, man, I don't. Thank God I ended up doing it. For a minute, I mean, I was like, I was questioning whether or not to, to go down there. But, I mean, like, wow. We gotta go. Right now. Alright. Round one is good. Mm. Dog, this is unreal, the amount of loot we have. Guys, this is literally in like three hours, four hours, I don't know. Well, I think I'm about done with the runs here. All right, so we got that part honeycombed up. All right, it's looking interesting. That's for sure. Armored door on the top. And then I'm going to do another armored door, honestly. So if they want to come raid, it's going to be mad annoying. All right, now we're fully honeycombed in the back with sheet metal. Wow, look at this thing so far, dude. This thing's actually pretty crazy. I'm not even going to lie. It's just kind of sick. We just gotta work on getting that honeycomb, the other side honeycombed. We'll do that tomorrow though. And then, do we have any more garage doors? I don't think we do. Get the vending machine on there. All right, let's take a look at this beauty from afar. 
My solo snow fortress is coming along. We're going to get walls all around it tomorrow. And we're going to do some raids tomorrow. We're going to get some more PvP tomorrow. It's the goal. So let's just pray to God we're not raided. Because that would stink. And I would be upset. But that's our plan tomorrow. Finishing up the fortress. And raiding. And PvPing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our day one. I love you guys. If you guys made it this far into the video, comment hashtag day one was loaded below. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here every single week. It's six there in the morning. The sun's going to come up sooner or later. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys for day two. Oosh. Ladies and gentlemen, before I stand up, it's looking good. It's looking really, really good for day two. Um, obviously, I woke up at like 4 p.m. today because I went to bed late, late last night. I mean, early morning, if you want to say that. I forget what time I went to bed. Six, seven, whatever. So leave me alone. It's 4 p.m. I just woke up, got a coffee, and uh, let's stand up. Dude, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. We can do so much today. We'll get this going. We're gonna do all the, we're gonna do like a really, really big recycle run as well. But uh we'll wait till morning to go do that. Alright, here comes a fat recycling run. A really fat recycling run. Wow, it's a lot going on here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> we're pretty loaded. There's shops in the game? Like people sell shit or what? What? This guy doesn't even know there's shops in the game. What am I playing? What the fuck is that at? Um, either way though, we cannot die because this is going to be like the finishing of our entire sheet metal snow fortress base. So I don't, really don't want to die. I had to go AFK for a little bit. Like I was in there for quite some time, but I heard a lot of Thompson shooting over here and I was like checking to see if my base was getting raided or not because I heard grenades and Thompsons and stuff. I was like, uh, so I hope they're kind of gone right now while I get inside because I don't want to die. Like this is just not a good time to die at all. Perfect. All right, our core is armored. We'll figure out whatever else we need to get armored, but... For now, let's go build the rest of this base. All right, I mean, the roof's done. I don't know what it's going to look like from the outside, but I have a bad feeling it's going to look pretty ugly. <laughs> So that's gonna be fun. We're gonna research high wall. And I'm also. Wait, I can't pick that up, right? Wait, right? Oh, I can. We're gonna research this rug because the spider rug is insane. Or the, the spider web rug's insane. I literally have a tattoo that looks just like it. Alright, researching rugs. I don't have anything really researched, but I'm researching rugs. Like, I don't really know what, like what's going on with my life. Dude, like, look at these rugs. You're lying to me. These things are so fire. Dude. This is worth... I gotta, I gotta get, like, 40 of these things. Oh, my God. This is the best Ruskin they came out with in a long time. Maybe my personal opinion. But, like, dude, come on. This is so sick. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what this base looks like from afar. Oh, dude, it looks fine. Yeah, dude, this base looks good. It looks, it looks fine to me. So sick. We gotta get a lot of high walls, though. This is such uneven ground. It's gonna take, like, a long time. Alright, we're gonna farm stone. So that... I can get a bunch of high... How much stone can I actually just, like... Like, can I already just get a bunch of stone? So I don't have to farm? Like, that's a pretty good amount of wood. Let's just use this. Every time I leave my base, there's gunshots by my base. It's kind of... It gets me a little scared. I think that'll be enough. Or, not enough, but... It might be enough. 28 wood high walls. We're gonna see how that goes.
wait. I just kind of realized there's really no way for me to get inside the compound, which is done, unless I jump through my windows. <laughs> Now we can get in and out of our compound. I was going to say, I was like, I think I did something kind of wrong here. Which I did. But we, we got to figure it figured out. Alright, let's get a view of this fortress. Oh, wow, dude. We actually own a pretty big chunk. I'm not even going to lie. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is 6 p.m. And I have not eaten because uh, I woke up at 4. So I think I'm gonna go drive over and get a get a chicken Caesar salad. My skin's my skin's been getting a little bit of acne because I've been eating kind of trash. Like I've been eating like fast food and stuff because like I'm just doing like quick meals and going out with friends or like quick meals because uh, I'm gaming, you know. So I'm trying to stop that. So I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier, obviously. So um yeah, I'll be I'll be back. I'll be back. Hopefully I'm not raided when I come back. That would be annoying. Should be back in like an hour. So yeah, be right back team all right the server seems to have died down a lot from last night which kind of stinks but we craft up a line of explo ammo and i want to see if we can find a raid target it's a little two by two here might not be that bad we see his feet i think we raid this thing double c4 bring some explo ammo should be all we need all right ladies and gentlemen let's uh let's raid this two by two Oh my. Alright, I mean, it's patched. Decent loot in here for sure. So many comps. A random 1,000 scrap. Like, what? Where's the workbench, bro? Like, I'm pretty confused where the workbench is in that base. Not one person countering, bro. I don't know what the heck's going on with Rust. I feel like right now, with Rust, servers are dying out, like, so much faster than they used to. It's, it's so weird. Every server I'd be playing, man, you get like hella, you get like hella stuff going on one day, and the next day it's like gone. I played with uh, another content creator named Aiden a couple days ago on Reddit Mondays. It was 300 pop, no, 350 pop, right? It was popping off, dude. Great time. By day two, it was like 130 pop. We couldn't find anyone. I don't really understand why people quit so fast. Like people are quitting, they're quitting wipes in one day, basically. It's like what? Like wh how is like why is that happening? Yeah, Bradley just got taken. We're going over there right away. We got a depot pretty quickly. I think that Tommy just grubbed the kid with all the Bradley loot. That was a nice little uh, solo rat moment. Not too bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's nighttime. <clears throat> wow, that's that's tough. That was a that's a tough swallow. It's nighttime, and I'm crafting up a lot of uh, explosives, etc. But my friends are calling me because uh, I used to go to a college called Coastal Carolina University, and they're basically calling me to go to the bar with them and watch the game because there's a game going on. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm driving though because I don't want to drink. Now that I have this new car, bro, I just want to drive it everywhere. So like I don't even want to drink, you know what I mean? But uh, so yeah, I'll be back on later tonight praying to God that we're not offline raided while I'm gone for like a very short amount of time. That would be really, really upsetting. Either way, 
Um, thought I'd just give you that update. I'm gonna close all the doors and head off in a second. But yeah, so we're gonna do some raiding though when we get back tonight. We're basically gonna do like all the raiding that we have to do. Just to, we're gonna use everything we have. So yeah, all right. Well, I'll be, uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna hang out with my friends for a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. We're not raided. Um, so it completely didn't go as planned at all. Basically, uh, I went there and they were all like throwing up. Or one of them was throwing up because of being hung over from the night before. Like, I don't even know, bruh. We were there for like five seconds. <laughs> like literally five seconds. I, I don't know. I don't I don't really know. I was there for five seconds. I drove them and then I was like, all right. I was like, well, you gave me an excuse to drive my car, so I don't really mind. And that's how that went down. So we're back and we're going to raid because I want to raid. Sheet metal is not decaying on this base. And this could be a little decayed juicer to grab. I'm not going to lie. This could be rinsed. I'm not going to lie. This could be a juicer. We're going to do that. We're going to get a little decayed base. I'm gonna bring home this sulfur because I also think I'm gonna need more uh explo but so far the base looked like it was uh pretty good also I'm sorry for offline raiding everyone but I mean loot's loot these guys are probably getting off anyway so plus it's hard to online with expo ammo expo ammo is almost impossible to online unless you're with like a bunch of people Alright, this base is not worth it. At all. Alright, I mean, we got it patched. This base is definitely not worth it, though, I don't think. Yeah, no, it was not worth at all. For the charcoal, I guess it's decently worth it. But other than the charcoal, not really, no. Alright, we're gonna craft up more gunpowder. Then we can craft up more ammo, and I guess we can go raiding again! <laughs> Like, it's just a constant, like, go raid, go raid. Uh, like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I'll craft this up real fast, and we'll get back to it. Alright, I think instead of doing Explo, I can learn all this. So, we'll just make rockets from now on. So, I'm gonna be here a while, crafting up close to 20 rockets to use. So, yeah, it's gonna be a grip. I'm gonna be a minute. That's gonna be fun for us to do all that and stuff. So, um, I'll be right back while that, uh, crafts up. Alright, I mean, that's a pretty decent amount of rockets. I got two more crafting. We got three, six, nine, eight. Wait, what the f What am I talking about, dude? Jesus. Okay, I know I'm not that good at math, but that was bad. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one rockets. All right, let's go roam. M2AK roaming. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I won. There's really nothing going on in the server, like, at all, dude. I don't know what's going on. I come out here to look for some snow roamers. So far, no one is snow roaming. I just, I don't know where all the roamers are, man. Like, where are all the roamers on the server? I hear a saturate up by power. I don't have a flashlight on either of my guns. And it's coming night, so that's great. 
think these guys are just in their base shooting. No troll, dude. Like they're not, like they're literally sitting on the roof shooting or something. They're not even like, bro. Oh my god. What happened to the PvP in this game? Like yeah, they're literally just like chilling, like in their like f giant compound, bro. With with a launcher though. I literally just think they're they're just shooting each other. What? I got bull deterred. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Truthfully, it was worth it. I don't even care. Like I don't even care about the M2. Because this is just so, like, like, what am I playing? You know what I mean? It's like, like, like what's happening? What, like, what, what, what? The only thing going on in this game is people, like, sitting in their base. That's literally it. This is like a trap base. Where are these shotgun traps? No way! What is going on? What is this trap base? This is insane. I'm going back because it was fun, but I literally have no idea how that trap base works at all. Should we just go and try to boom it? Like, should we just go and try to raid that thing? Like, I know we're probably just going to lose, but it's like for the meme, you know? What? All right, we're going to go online raid them. I don't know why, but they're online and it just seems like the right thing to do. Let's go online raid solo. Here we go. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we're doing it with all of our rockets. This might be the finale. You guys raiding yourself? I'll take that as a no. All right, I actually don't have enough boom. That's okay. Dude, I'm like right there. <laughs> I need like two more, like one rocket. That's it. No! <laughs> this is crazy! Oh my god. I might be- I might be able to do something about this. I just need sulfur. Just a little bit of cooked sulfur. It's all I need. Sulfur. No. Dude, literally just a little bit of sulfur.
I'm building blocked. They have outers. Dude. <laughs> I don't have any armor. We gotta go. I cannot believe I broke that box and it had all the boom. <laughs> That's insane. And we lived. They can have all the loot. I don't even care. It, th this was worth it. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's insane. We gotta go back, though. I, I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? We should probably go back just because. Because there is a lot of loot there. Even though I don't really want the loot. Still, I feel like we should make it back. Grenades. No, they're, they're patching. They patched. Thank you for loot. Thank you for loot. Damn, dude. Oh my god. Wait, slow mo that. Slow mo that kid's body. Oh my god. No way. Ah, uh, GG's to those guys. Like, a part of me, though, wants to, like, n like end that, end the video on a high note there. You know what I mean? It's like, shoot. Because, like, if I lose this online, the next raid I do, it's like, dang, man. GG's, man. You know? All right. I was gonna, I was gonna go roam Hazzy AK and just see what I get myself into, but I think we just go and raid. I think we just bring all the boom for the finale. Oh my god, dude, we have so much boom. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17 rockets. It's like, what do I even do with all that? Like, on, like seriously, I don't even know. If we lose all these rockets, it's whatever. I'm not even that upset. You know what? We'll just, we'll just boom this base right here. I want to blow this up yesterday, so we're blowing it up now. Yes, this was not rinsed at all. Just kind of just a waste of our time. <laughs> this wasn't that, this wasn't that great. All right, all right, gamers. All right, goofy gamers. Round two, get rid of all the boom. Round two on our brethren. <laughs> this is messed up, this is messed up. No way. Oh my god, dude. They literally just de- Dude. They threw- Oh my god. They threw everything on the ground. They just quit. That's insane. Well, guess that's it for this journey. Fly high, brother. <laughs> Fly high. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think that that is a wrap on the wipe that is how you um build a snow fortress and uh succeed very well now there really isn't too many people on the server i'd give away my base like i usually do how many satchels is this oh shit yo wait man yo you want the loot in here D don't come down yet yeah if you wouldn't mind yeah yeah don't come down yet there's a satchel it's about to blow up i just raided these guys on oh you you were there i remember you yeah all right, well, they're, um, they're decaying all their loot. Are they, they threw it all on the ground. All right, you can come down. You can come down. Really? Yeah, yeah, come down, come down. They threw it all on the ground. So, like, there's a lot. Jesus. But Do you want any of it? Or are you good? Uh, no. Take this inventory that I have. This is, this is very worth it. But then, yeah, you just do whatever you want with the rest. I don't know. There's nothing to do. All right, thanks, man. Is there a ladder? Uh, no, but I'll boost you out. And then you can get a ladder if you have one. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm gonna kill myself right, in here, thanks, so I'll my body will be in here with quick. an AK and an M2 for you. Oh, thanks, man. GG's, man. Have a good wipe. All right, we helped that guy out. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for coming back every week. I love you guys so, 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 so much. 
And uh, I'll be back next week at 5 p.m. EST. Make sure to drop a like. Make sure to drop a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Hashtag Wally 500K by the end of the year. I'm your host. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.